Greetings, esteemed viewers. See? Welcome back to the Wind Waker. We're now... Breaking news! The amiibos that we talked about in the last video still haven't been announced. <laughs> it's been like 20 minutes, people. Come on. <laughs> wow! Time <laughs> to go! So fast. <laughs> you, you I know. Well, speed runner, Ryan. there for a long time. <laughs> I was just so excited from having finally found these fucking things. <laughs> oh my god, shut up, man. Call don't don't talk to me. Call this is all your fault. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Brian. Me. I, didn't, I didn't mean to didn't mean to hurt your feelings. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, I mean, oh yeah, my god. but that's, that's, Brian, people don't have to know that. You actually got it on the first try. Okay, screw you, that only happened once. <laughs> no, granted, it happened like eight times within that one instance, but still. <laughs> I am still salty about that. Teleportation! Teleportation, yeah! But, Seven up away. <laughs> but, um, uh, what I didn't show was the actual process of finding the, um, the shards. So... Uh, try, uh, regular charts work this way, too. When you have a chart, you basically get an X next to a landmark, how it would appear on your C chart. If you haven't been going in every square and finding the fish and getting it revealed... Which was, you like, the first thing the... I did when arriving at every island, because why I, would you not? I do remember doing... <laughs> I filled in the entire map when I played. I remember that because it took a while. And and you're supposed to like the game wants you to and it, it actively nudges you toward doing it, but it's tedious and I don't feel like it usually. So I just looked up where the Triforce shards were online because I did it legitimately once, and once is enough. <laughs> I wish there was a way you could skip this Triforce chart shard thing in general, but you know, <laughs> what can you do besides get the AC version, I guess? <laughs> you know, hey, you know it'd be some shit. What? If after you pay Tingle to decipher all the Triforce sh charts, and then you ask him where they are, he just turns to you, like, puts his hand on your chest and says, they were inside you all along. <laughs> <laughs> and, then he and, then he, and then he takes your money and leaves. I mean, I thought it'd be worse if he just was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> And then you go back to his uh, little island, and he's gone. Yes, <laughs> the greatest scam of all time. And there's just a sign: Tingle, Tingle was here. Link is a loser. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Considering it's this Link, that wouldn't be too far-fetched. <laughs> the world just doesn't no, seem to like wrong. him that much. I mean, you say that, but he has actually survived. I mean, look, survived. he just got... God, <laughs> look at the games. God, look you just see, did. Man, You're a horrible god, Brian. <laughs> see, I, I knew Zelda was gone. Oh, spoiler warning, Gandalf got down here because of course he did. <laughs> I mean, it does look a lot worse than it did when you were last here. <laughs> but, um... And, you know, I really thought hiding her under a giant statue would do better than this, but I guess not. You should have made it a statue of Tingle, because then Ganondorf <laughs> would have never suspected. But because you had to go make it a statue of the Hero of Time, oh, it was so <laughs> obvious. No, no, it should have been a statue of Tingle pointing to the other side of the room going, Look over there! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but but I had an ADT security system. How did you get past it? <laughs> Wait, did was that actually Zelda being teleported away? No, I think I think it was an illusion. Yeah, because why would she just be standing there? Well, I that's what I was thinking too. But Ganon was ch like there was text that I assume was Ganon speaking. Yeah. yeah. And it made it seem like he was saying that just then and there. To his Well, no, he was definitely addressing you, but I think it was a fake Zelda. Yeah, I I think no, Ganon no, might said have said you thought you'd be safe down here. Link, well, Link didn't 
Yeah. Was you plural. Yeah, I mean, like I see, I see why you would think that, but I, 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 I think it's an illusion. So that pro mostly because, like, you know, when she's being quote unquote teleported away, her expression doesn't change, and she just leaves. <laughs> I don't know if Gandorf is even capable of doing that. <laughs> I don't think he can. In fact, I'm pretty right. sure that if he could have just teleported in or out of here, that he wouldn't have needed to come in and break everything. Yeah, so... In fact, if he could do that, you know... <laughs> I mean, to be that, fair... What, what would stop him from just showing up right behind you? To be, to be completely <laughs> fair, this place is... Uh, similar to, but not exactly, the Temple of Time, right? Um, I believe it's supposed to be reminiscent of it. Yeah. Uh, he could teleport her right out of there in Ocarina of Time, so... Fuck. Yeah, but then he had to do the crystal thing. Yeah. I just assume that's how Ocarina of Time magic looks. I mean, a little bit, yes. But... Also, I think it was, unless I'm misremembering, but I'm pretty sure I'm not, I believe it was, like, a functional cage. I mean, it seems like that would be the case, unless he just wanted them in crystals for decoration. You know, <laughs> Oh, this will go great in my foyer. <laughs> the illusion has been destroyed. I mean, the barrier well, has been destroyed. Looks like all the water is going to flood down here now. Whoops. I mean, <laughs> yeah, so, yes. fun fact, that thing that you just broke, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that is actually what the artifact looks like in-game. So it's like, the barrier actually does go all the way around the castle. If you somehow glitched to get out of the walls, the barrier would still stop you. Oh, well. Bummer. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit weird, and it sucks for the speedrunners, because they would love to know how to get past that thing. <laughs> well, you see, you Give him the a, face! You have, to, you have to trick the game to put a Pokemon in your item slot. <laughs> but your fourth item slot, not your fifth. Definitely not your fifth. Now, Brian, game. you think that's a joke, but that's actually a thing that you do. I mean, like, are you, are you talking about, like, um, getting legendaries in Gen 3? <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about, like, beating Gen 1 in, like, two minutes. Oh, yeah, all those things you do to manipulate the code. <laughs> I've seen videos, I did not understand what the hell was going on. <laughs> oh, no, no, we, you're not supposed to. Yeah. Supposed My to favorite was the when they, uh... My favorite was when they manipulated the taskbot to do a bunch of random actions in game that manipulated the memory so that they could rebuild the original Mario 1 1 in Super Mario World. Oh, did you did you also see the one where they made Snake? Like the game <laughs> Snake? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are always fun. <laughs> Anything taskbot is does is always hilarious. Like, it's, it's, it's amazing, like, how long people, and, like, how much people have to understand the game in order to pull something like that off. <laughs> like, are you just staring at the code all day? <laughs> you know, in retrospect, if Ganon had a tower that was literally, like, a half mile away from the castle or Temple of Time, maybe it really wasn't a good idea to leave her there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, but, you know, it has a great... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, Link seems pretty stupid enough to just fall off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've just come to expect it at this point. Yeah, I mean, we have, we have already concluded that this is the stupid Link. He is the weakest Link. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> you know, actually, there is a game theory video about that. Yes, yes. Okay, so this room. Um, I don't know why, but uh, this particular playthrough... Well, I do know why, it's because this particular playthrough, but I had a shit ton of trouble with this room in particular. 
Um, and I think I edited this today. <laughs> And I, I sped up a lot of it, but I think it took me like a good 15, 20 minutes just to get to this row. God damn it, Brian. You don't need to tell us things that are going to make... Do you want us to be disappointed in you? You're already disappointed. What do I have to lose? You're disappointed, really? What do I have to lose? Be fair, Ariel. I'm not disappointed. I'm just kind of exhausted. <laughs> You're making us emotionally numb, Brian. <laughs> uh, Brian just, well, just, you know... <laughs> did you just hook shot one of those while it was above the lava? Um, I think I brought it to me, and then it burned me and knocked me off. I was trying did to Did you kill just it. hook shot something to get in front of your face while it's on fire? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to get, cause I tried going on, getting on there with the deck of leaf before, and it didn't work. <laughs> so I lost like half of my health and all my magic. <laughs> so I need to use a grandpa soup. <laughs> but I finally made it. It's okay. Everything's okay. Just forget what you saw. <laughs> no, it's not okay, Brian. <laughs> Teleportation. You know, I think I think the most annoying parts of this of these boss repeats, this boss rush, actually to me is the music. <laughs> like I do not like it for some reason. It sounds like a clown. You fucked up. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't like that it's like a teleportation or a time travel boss rush where you lost all your shit. Yeah, like it w it would be a really cool mechanic if you could use like new items. On the bosses, and I don't know why they did that. Like, in no, this because game is all really... the bosses are designed like very specifically to cater to the one item that you got from that dungeon, which yeah, is what... not a good thing. It's not a good excuse. That just happens to be why the bosses all require that you use only those items. It's like, sure, you could have the new items, but it's not going to do anything. Yeah, that's why I just think it's weird that they bothered taking them away. <laughs> what, so you wouldn't try? <laughs> and also, um, if if we are to assume that this is this is Ganondorf's doing, right? That he's he's like doing these little time bubbles to try and kill you off or something. Um, why would he put Valu there? <laughs> well, because he wants to make it fair. <laughs> no, if Alu isn't there, then Goma won't stay. Like, this is my contract. I have to have a dragon tail hanging above me at all times. <laughs> I'll be in my trailer while you make your decision. What do you mean you don't have a trailer full of lava? I can't work like this. <laughs> you know... Explodes. You're joking. <laughs> but actually... <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I mean, I always just assumed that the reason was because Ganon literally sent you back in time. Yeah, see, that's very possible, but you still think he would have, like, if he could just send you back in time temporarily, why can't he just go back in time and stop you? That's a good question. You see, he can, only, mean... sen he can only send uh, others back in time. Okay. And he sends one of his, all of his things back in time to stop you at once. At the same time, I mean, it gives you ex gives them all explicit okay, orders. Okay. Do not attack well, one at a time. Do you see what happened in the temple? Ariel, Ariel, I agree with you, to? but at the same time, like if you're gonna make that argument, then why doesn't he literally just send all of his minions to you at once, all at once, at the beginning of the game, just kill you off? Right there, get it over that, with. That's exactly uh, what I'm saying. Beginning of the game, how about when you're a baby? <laughs> I mean, Wolf, that, that's exactly what I'm arguing. Why wouldn't he do that? I don't, In I mean, bathtub, I mean, screw time out. travel. Why bother with time travel? Just send them to you in person, right now. Go. <laughs> 
I mean, here's the thing. Link doesn't have the light arrows yet, so it's literally impossible to defeat Ganondorf right now. So why doesn't he just go down to his lobby, maybe sit on a couch, <laughs> watch some watch some ESPN, and wait for Link to stab him? And then, there you go. It's <laughs> over. <laughs> for the same reason no, that no. you didn't have Rock just eat you. Let's see. <laughs> see, he sits in front of the chest with the light arrows. Maybe even on top of the chest. <laughs> so it's like, you know, you beat enough bosses and he's like, oh, hey, expected something else? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gone. He's just sitting there picking his teeth with the light arrows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, did you need these? Yeah, just no. Just sizzling a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, and moving on. <laughs> <laughs> on bad notes <laughs> goodbye thanks for watching we're sorry